What's up Royals, I'm Kai, hope you're doing well and I have a clutch of Desert Ghost eggs to cut today and this clutch could be packed with codoms. All right, so we got a pretty highly anticipated clutch. Um, this is probably my second Desert Ghost clutch of the season. And uh, while I'm struggling to put on some gloves, I'll tell you the pairing. The female is a chocolate Desert Ghost, hat for hypo, pos hat for G-stripe. And I originally started with a pinstripe Desert Ghost male that I produced myself. After a while, he started to either lose interest or she just didn't like him anymore. So then I switched to a pastel Desert Ghost male. He always willing to breed. Had one lock with her and then she rejected him as well. So I resorted to a het and that het is a also one that I produced myself. Um, and I think this is his second time breeding. So he's an inchy orange dream yellow belly pinstripe hat for desert ghost. And as you can see, we have six good eggs, one boob egg over here, and two of these have pipped. So far, they don't look like visual desert ghosts. So pretty good indication that the hat may have sired the clutch. But we'll see if he sired the entire clutch or just a few of these. Might be hard to tell, but we're going to go ahead and cut these open now. Uh, they're definitely ready to come out, seeing that two of them have pipped. But the ones that didn't pip, meaning the ones that didn't pop their head out or slice the egg open, you might see a little bit of red veins, but don't be alarmed because that doesn't hurt the animal at all. So you can see here, this is a pinstripe. It looks to be just a straight up pinstripe. Um, a little bit cleaner than, cleaner and lighter in color than some of the other pinstripes I've seen. Now that could be just the Het Desert Ghost influence. What I've also noticed is that sometimes the Desert Ghost appearance will only show itself after a few sheds um, a couple years ago actually the pinstripe uh, male desert ghost that I that I mentioned was originally used for the pairing I thought that one was a straight uh, pinstripe pinstripe pet desert ghost but after a few sheds he got brighter and brighter and that's how I know he is a DG so this one looks to be Hmm. I don't think it's DG. I think it's probably a yellow belly. Again, it's a little bit brighter than a typical yellow belly. So maybe that's the head influence. Maybe we just have to give this one a few sheds as well before we make a determination. But so far, two healthy, two healthy hatchlings. I'm a little bit concerned when we get to that boob egg, but we'll save that for last because there is a little bit of mold on the uh, on the tip of that one. And we'll just save that for last so we don't, so the mold doesn't get all over these good eggs and potentially contaminate them. Although at this point, you know, the baby's fully developed. Ooh, that's nice. That, see that? That is definitely a desert ghost. These eggs are kind of small, but I'm sure these babies will, will pack up some size. So that's definitely a desert ghost. Um, it's obviously pinstripe. You can see the pins, pinstriping, but it's very light in color. I've never seen this before. I produced Lemon Blast. I produced um, Orange Dream pinstripe, Enchi pinstripes, um, Enchi Orange Dream, uh, and with yellow belly. So I produced a bunch of them, but I think that this might be something... Obviously, pinstripe, I think it's got to be not, there's no pastel here, guys. 
no pastel even though it looks very bright if it was pastel that head would look pure white and obviously it doesn't i would have to say chocolate I think there's chocolate in here. Yeah, I think there's chocolate in here. It's <laughs> taking a breath. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. And you can see at the very, very tip. You see at the very tip? There's a little egg tooth right there. So that's what it would have used to slice its way out of the egg if I didn't help it and open up the egg already. That's so cool. So definitely pinstripe desert ghost i have to say that this never seen this before so i'm contributing that to the chocolate um once i get a better look at the pattern i can probably determine if it has yellow belly or enchi or orange dream all right spent way too much time on that egg just really excited it's, it's always great to be able to produce a visual and I don't have much desert ghosts. I only have like two um, males that I'm gonna be using for future breeding. I've already sold that pinstripe one and I don't definitely don't have many females. Wow, holy moly, that's another desert ghost. That's also pinstripe, but you can definitely see how disconnected the pattern is, the dark pattern. I also think that this is chocolate just because you got so much oranges in here and the fact that these pinstripes are kind of um, blown up a little bit because they're not like just a line. You can see that they're like teardrops. I think this is Enchi. So this could be uh, Enchi, chocolate Enchi pinstripe desert ghost. That's what I'm calling it. That is what I'm calling it. Let's see if we can get some more DGs here. So, so far, what what I've gathered is that the Het has sired the clutch. Wow, that's another desert ghost. And it's, it looks to be, I can't see the head. If we can see the head and it's white, pure white, then we know, definitely know it's pastel. If it's not white, then it's got to be something else in here that's causing it to be so bright. My guess, my guess based on that pattern, I would say it's orange dream that's making it so bright. I don't see much, much flaming, so I don't think it's yellow belly. Uh, yeah, I really need to be able to see the head um, to either identify pastel or omit pastel. Definitely think it's Orange Dream. Not sure if it's an inchy or not. Definitely doesn't have pinstripe. So that's good so far. We got three visuals. Oh, look at this one. This one also pipped. So we have three that pipped, which means that they cut open the egg. Must have stuck its nose out. For a short period of time and then pop back in so i did not get a look at this one didn't even know that it had sliced its way out that is another desert ghost that's another desert ghost i don't think this has pastel in it i've seen lemon blast and they look super super yellow this one's got a really clean creaminess to it it does look to be Desert Ghost, although although because its head is, <laughs> can't see the head. Um, let's see, what could this be? This might be an Enchi Pinstripe Desert Ghost or just a Pinstripe Desert Ghost. So if this is just a pinstripe desert ghost, then that first one that we hatched out is probably just a pinstripe het desert ghost. So either way, I'm pretty happy. We have at least, I think at least four visuals out of the six. So let's check out 
this little tiny boot bag and you can see the mold you can see it's already rubbing off my hand so i'm going to be careful here try not to get it all over the other the other uh eggs and hatchlings so we'll do it over here on the side and if any of that mold falls it'll fall straight into the perlite and not on the other clutch mates so right off you can see there's a milkiness it should be clear and we're seeing some milkiness again the blood don't worry about it that doesn't hurt the animal at all and it is super tiny this area right here that is hard as a rock um, if you ever get a chance to look inside it's it's like this this hard uh it, it's clearish but it's hard um, but definitely looks like we have a hatch thing in here i don't know if it's okay but color wise that is beautiful color wise i would say color and pattern that's got to be that's got to be enchi orange dream hmm maybe there's chocolate in this one as well just because of the tight arches so th the chocolate has these tight arches while the enchi kind of has these bands and i feel like this they might be fighting against each other um it, it's hard to see on the camera but there's faint white outline between the the creamy yellows and the blacks so based off of that white outline i'm calling orange dream so for now for now let's just uh, assume that this is a chocolate orange dream enchi and we'll take a look once it comes out oh look at that that is nasty so i'm going to pop these back in the incubator we'll let them come out and then i'll give you guys an update uh, so stick around um, i'll be back in just a moment I have been waiting to give you guys an update on this clutch all week. Actually, I've been waiting for them to crawl out of their eggs so I can take a look at them. Uh, we're going to start off with two non-visuals. So these are both het for Desert Ghost. Um, I think this one minimum would be a pinstripe, het Desert Ghost. And I believe this is a male. Uh, this one over here, it's definitely got something else going on here. Not exactly sure what it is. Again, the pairing is a chocolate desert ghost, and that's a female, to a inchy orange dream yellow belly pinstripe het desert ghost. Um, and I kind of feel like this is minimum a yellow belly. You got the flaming, you got the checkered belly. So right now I'm just sticking to a yellow belly het desert ghost female. So now we're moving on to the visuals. Now I don't quite know what these are, so I'm just showing them off to you. Um, they're all visuals for sure. I mean, just look at how clean this is. Uh, this one, I'm guessing to be Orange Dream at a minimum, Orange Dream Desert Ghost. This one, same thing, but it's gotta have a little bit more. This one is maybe it's, maybe it's a Orange Dream Yellow Belly Desert Ghost. Just because you can look at the head, you can see how this one, <laughs> not cooperate, not cooperating. You can see how this one's head is much more blushed out. So yeah, I don't, I don't quite know if if this one has yellow belly, but I do feel like it's at least an orange dream. This one, I feel like more confident that this would be uh, orange dream desert ghost. This is a male and this one is a female and boy is she beautiful just absolutely absolutely gorgeous wow so now it's going to get much tougher because these are pinstripe and it really doesn't offer much in way of pattern because the pinstripe pretty much takes away a lot of the pattern and we're just left with a bunch of pinstripes now I don't see a lot of like uniform pinstripe and I know Enchi kind of reduces the pinstripe. This doesn't quite look like an Enchi pinstripe and Orange Dream reduces 
the pattern as well it cleans it up a little bit but not as quite as inchy so maybe this is orange dream pinstripe desert ghost um, this is a female however i feel like if it was an orange dream pinstripe we get a lot of these pinstripe areas that are more open you see how closed they are you see how tight the pinstripes are I would expect it to be a little bit more open and I'll show you what I mean with the uh, with the next couple animals I think they have they exhibit what I'm talking about a little bit better but yeah for now this is a pinstripe desert ghost female I said female right yeah it's female so right here is another female also pinstripe desert ghost but you can see how how opened these are right and how reduced the pattern is so I don't quite know what this is but I, I obviously see the difference between this one and the last one um, I don't think so even though yellow belly produces flaming like these you would expect this to be with yellow belly but I actually produced a yellow belly pinstripe and I'm fairly confident uh, that it is a yellow belly pinstripe from last season um, and that one has very very tight pattern the lines are not so clean they're more like jagged like pixelated um, so I think this is orange dream pinstripe desert ghost you can see that uh, remember the mom I said is a chocolate desert ghost so we've yet to see a chocolate version and maybe we just missed it on one of the other animals they all these this clutch hatchings are fairly small in comparison to some of the other hatchings that I've hatched this season but I'm sure we can put some weight on these and get these up to size fairly quickly I got one more to show you this right here is the last one of the bunch and i even though i keep saying i don't know what they are um, i do feel like this one probably has the most number of genes just based on the way it looks although i don't quite know exactly what are what they are um, i know we said the last one is a orange dream a pinstripe desert ghost and that was a that's got fairly fairly dark pigment where the pinstripes are this one because it's so orange i think this has to be the chocolate influence I mean just look at look at these they're just so cool uh, so I think this is the chocolate orange dream pinstripe desert ghost and for some reason I want to say it has yellow belly in it too um, you know when you have pinstripe the pattern is so reduced uh, that you don't get that checkering on the sides anymore because there's pretty much no pattern to look for but for some reason I just want to say this is yellow belly the true way to find out is to breed them and that's exactly what I have been uh, contemplating on doing so maybe I'll hold them back and breed them I do have a powerhouse male from last season uh, but that one doesn't have chocolate and it doesn't have pinstripes so I think this would be a nice addition to the breeding team so yeah uh, we did pretty good on the sex odds uh, three males four females and in terms of uh, genetic odds we had two hats and and five visuals so pretty happy with that can't complain hoping for some more desert ghosts this season but we'll see what happens um, these things are not predictable but we can hope for the best I am more than good with the outcomes from that clutch there's some definite holdbacks and there's some potential holdbacks as well I have a couple more DJ clutches in the incubator, so I want to see what they hold for me before I make up my mind as to what to let go from this clutch. That about wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you want to be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share and remember, Royals for life. Peace out.